All right, my friends, in this section, we're going to start the long process of getting our Kubernetes cluster over to a production environment. So step number one is to create a new GitHub repository that's going to eventually house all of our source code. Now we have already made a GitHub repository for our project in the past. I'm going to create a totally separate repository so that there's no confusion between this Kubernetes stuff and all of the Elastic Beanstalk stuff that we had done previously. So I'm going to first navigate to GitHub. And then once here, I'll find the little plus on the top right hand side and I'll make a new repository. Now I'm going to call this repository multi K eights like so. You can call it anything else you might want to call it, totally up to you. I'm just going to choose the name multi K eights. I'm then going to make sure that the repository is marked as public and then I'll click on create repository. Okay, great. So there's my link right there. I'm going to copy the link and we'll now create a local Git repo and set the remote to be this GitHub repository. So I'm going to flip over to my terminal. Now, quick reminder, you have already created a Git repo inside of the complex directory earlier in this project, and you had used it to deploy the multi-container application to Elastic Beanstalk. So I want you to do a ls-a right now. And if you see inside of here a .git folder, that means that you've already set up a local Git repository and you do not need to create a new one. Now, I do not have a Git repo inside this folder, so I'm going to now create one with git init, and then I'll do a git add and a commit. Like so. So now I have a Git repository inside of here as well. I see the .git folder. Now again, if you already had a .git folder inside of here, you probably already had a remote set up for the previous GitHub repository that we had created. So I want you to do a git remote dash V right now, like so. If you run that command and you see something come up that says like origin and the name of a repository next to it, then you're going to want to delete that remote and change it over to be the new GitHub repository that we just created. So to delete the existing remote, you can run git remote, what is it, remove origin, there we go. That's totally off the top of my head here. So you can run that command and it will delete the existing remote called origin. Then to wire it up to our new GitHub repository that we just created, we'll run git remote add origin and I'll paste in the link that I just got off of the GitHub page over here. So this link right here. So I'll paste that in and there we go. So now I can do a git remote dash V and I'll see the origin appear with the new repository name. Now I'm going to do a push to send all the code that we just added inside this repo up to GitHub. So I'll do a git push origin master like so. Now after a second or two, we'll see a little message here that says the push is complete. So I'm just going to wait for that. Okay, there we go. Push is complete. So now the last thing I want to do is flip back over to GitHub. I want to refresh the page and I want to make sure that I see all of my work inside this directory here. Now you'll notice I got that stupid, I hate this file, DS store. It's from when you copy paste stuff around on OSX. I'm going to take care of that in just a second. But you should see at least the client, server, worker directories, along with the K8s folder as well, with all of our different config files inside there. So at this point, please make sure that you have those three different directories along with the K8s folder as well. If you don't have this, then you need to do a little bit of work on your Git repo. All right, so let's take a quick pause right here and we'll continue in the next section. Our next step is going to be to wire up this GitHub repository to Travis CI. So I'll see you in just a moment. 